Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In today's video, I will talk about Hall effect transducers in detail. The following topics will be covered in this video. So let's start with the Hall effect transducer. Hall effect element is a type of transducer used for measuring magnetic field by converting it into an EMF. See, Hall effect transducer is basically based on Hall effect itself, which is used for a magnetic field to EMF conversion. And therefore, we can say that Hall effect elements are the transducer which are used for measuring the magnetic field and further it converts it into EMF because the direct measurement of the magnetic field is not possible and therefore we use Hall effect for the measurement of magnetic field. The transducer converts the magnetic field into electrical quantity which is easily measured by the analog and digital meters because we know that simply the EMF can be easily measured by using analog uh, or digital meters and uh, therefore further we can measure the magnetic field by using it. Now let's see the working principle. Here the working principle is actually based on the Hall effect. Now let's, uh, let me explain what is Hall effect actually. Let us consider this strip here without this magnet. Now uh, let us assume that some supply is applied to the two terminals of this strip. Now what will happen? Simply in normal condition the current will start flowing through this and if we want to measure the output voltage between these two terminals in the normal case we will get zero output voltage because whole current will pass through it and same EM wave will exist over here. But now let us assume that the magnetic field is developed here. It means that a magnet is brought near to the strip. In this case, the output will change because due to Lorentz force, in one side we will get negative charge and on another side we will get positive charge. Now as some negative charges are here and some positive charges are here, the potential difference is developed here and therefore if we want to measure the output voltage between these two strips with this magnetic field, in this case the output voltage will exist here and we, we will get some non-zero output voltage. This is itself known as Hall effect. The magnitude of this voltage depends on the current strength of the magnetic field that is B, here current is indicated by I and the property of the conducting material we can say that it is it, it is constant that is known as Hall effect constant KH. I will explain this in the next slide. The Hall effect is found in conducting materials. Note here that it is found in conducting materials as, as well as in semiconductor. So this strip can be of a conducting material or a semiconductor material just like the indium arsenide which can be used as a Hall effect element. Now let us see the working of the Hall effect transducer. This is the arrangement for the Hall effect transducer. Here in this case terminal 1 and 2 is used for the application of supply voltage here. You can see some voltage is applied between 1 and 2 and the output is taken from 3 and 4. Now these two terminals are remained where again a transverse magnetic field that is magnetic field is applied here in a perpendicular direction to the EMF. So it is applied over here and overall therefore some voltage will exist between 0.3 and 4. In normal cases we will get zero output voltage whereas when some magnetic field is applied here, we will get some non-zero output voltage. That VH is itself known as Hall effect voltage and it is given by formula KH times I into B divided by T. So KH is Hall effect coefficient, I is current, B is magnetic flux density and T is thickness of the strip. Note here, it is not time, it is thickness of the strip that is thickness of the Hall element. 
generally this voltage obtained here is very very much low and uh, we can say that the output is of the order of micro volts and therefore if you want to use it for the analog purpose we need to amplify it so a high gain dc uh, differential amplifier is used here it is a high gain differential amplifier this is a regulator which will provide a constant dc supply here if we want to use it for the digital purpose in that case there will be some change in the circuitry here a schmidt trigger is used which is which will convert this analog signal into digital one and further a trans transistor is used as a switch so that we will get the output in terms of zeros and ones so uh, we can say that the first circuit is for the analog purpose and second circuit is for the digital purpose Hollypack sensors here is one example for the Hollypack sensor it is a 3144 Hollypack sensor switch which can be used by using a Hollypack sensor module the circuit can be just similar to that of previously shown now let's move to the next topic that is advantages and disadvantages of hall effect transducer here it has a long life because it has no wear then they are highly reliable then it can be used for the high speed operation and it can be operated over a long a wide temperature range now let's see some disadvantages of hall effect it cannot measure the distance more than 10 cm because there will be some limitations of magnets then stray magnetic field can cause inaccurate reading so these are the disadvantages then let's see applications for the hall effect transducer so as uh, we have seen hall effect element is used for converting the magnetic field into electric transducer so hall effect element measures the displacement of the structure element further we can measure the current and as we can measure the current we can measure the power of power through the conductor also hall effect transducer can also be used in the laptops flip screen which will further can be used for the for saving of the power then it is used in encoded switches and rotary encodes encoders so this is all about the hall effect transducer friends if you like this video please give one thumbs up and share with your friends if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe it thank you